Hey YouTube, we're back. Welcome to the uh, detailing section of the uh, remodel of my old game board. Um, you'll see some pictures up above right now of some uh, aerial photos of the uh, Monument Valley area of uh, Utah and Arizona. And you can see like the reds and the browns. Also, there's like a lot of white, like light stripes. That's what I'm probably going to attempt to do now is get the light stripes around the hills and around the spires. And you see the last photo coming up is actually kind of close representation I'm trying to do with these four spires right here. And then you can see there's kind of resemblance. I mean, for uh, styrofoam and 40K scale, it's not too bad of a job that I did. My old hills are uh, crappy. They, they you know, run to the mill stuff you see on eBay. And someone cuts with a hot knife real quick and quick and throw some flock on it. But those, I'm not going to rip them off or anything like that. And maybe paint them up a little bit better and see what happens. So um, we'll be back and we'll start throwing some uh, highlights on these. Thanks. Or not highlights, uh, another color. Thanks again. Hey, we're back. And I uh, just want to show you what I, my method for this. I'm using the Cafe Latte. I put the uh, alcohol water mixture in the cup first. And then stir it, and just like I do in a medicine cup upstairs with a model. And um, and to see if it grabs the side a little bit. This might be a little too thin, but let's just try this at first. We can always add more, and thinner layers are better, especially when I'm not used to what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm not going to use a masking or that styrofoam thing I showed earlier. I'm going to freehand it and try to do them all kind of the same. It doesn't have to be exact. So I got the Patriot 105, I got it set at 30 pounds, so I'll just uh, go for it. Put a little bit in there, and let's see how that looks. Uh, it should grab, let me see what I have there, and we might need a little more paint in there. Oh, that's actually working pretty good. I might put a little more paint in it. Uh, I'm going to put more paint in it and then we'll be back and uh, see you in a second. Add a little more paint into the mix and see how that works. And I might have to go a lighter color too because this is still part of the color I used in the original blend. It made it a little lighter then. Yeah, I think we'd have to go something a little more starker white, maybe um, like an ashy color. That's you can barely tell. You can see it, but it's not stark enough like in those photos we just showed you. Um, let's try another one. I guess there's too much of the base coat in it, it's just kind of uh, very subtle, which is okay, but uh, we, I want this first one to be kind of really stark. I'll just finish through these. I'm going to go through these real quick and do this. Maybe that other thing will go in there and kind of, uh, as a highlight, look kind of cool. So uh, we'll be back in a second. I'll show you uh, when we start the other color. I'm back. I decided not to... Um, Change the color at all. It started doing more and more layers of it. Like I told you, I thin, or like you saw, I thinned out the paint substantially with the alcohol mix. This stuff's got a lot of pigment in it, this craft paint. So I'm um, just laying it down layer after layer. I think I like the uh, uh, effect it got. Right now I'm just cleaning the old airbrush out with the alcohol water mix. Um, I just, everyone knows how to do this, but in just in case, I just usually wipe the, uh, most of the paint out I can out of the cup. That I haven't that's already already sprayed all of it out the paint and try to clean the cup out then put some more in there obviously um, it's still murky and then I use I put some uh, old paper towel in a old uh, plastic Folgers coffee can and this is my spray uh, airbrush uh, cleaner real simple and cheap We'll do another one. Can you see that? That's basically crystal clear now, and you can just double check it. 
Well, I'll get a clean piece of paper towel. Let's see where we go. Yep, we're good. So that's clean. Real simple to do. Um, also, we're using a really, really thin paint, so that is helpful too. Uh, I'm gonna come back real quick, and then we'll show what this looks like on the board. And um, I did the board too, a little bit, some of the lines on the hills. Um, I think I'm gonna eventually come back also and start using these clear paints to do. Uh, um, I might bring in even one of the detail brushes down, maybe the, um, the Renegade Velocity or maybe the Sotar, and get these transparent paints into the cracks. Especially where we did this lighter um, band, I want to get some more detail back into there. So maybe in the grooves we'll do some um, uh, brown paints and things like that. Actually, while we're here, let's see what it would look like. Let's grab um, more of the medium brown. This stuff's ready to go out of the bottle. It's got the agitator built in it, lovely stuff. And then. it in there. Make sure we got some good paint going. There we go. Then we can just go like, make sure we're on camera here. And it's like in these areas, and add shadows. Just to add a little more realism to it, so it's just not a big light colored blob. And also, you can also take. Oh, well, also, I want to fix something. I did that um, a blist. I did a band on the bottom just to see what it looked like. I didn't really like it, so we can probably just blot it out with this. Yeah, see, it's almost like erases everything. So we're going to make it back to uh, inform with all the other pieces. So um, let's see what else we got going on here. And also we can just do a little kind of neat lines with this too. Do a whole other line with that. That'd be kind of fun. Now this is fun. Just experimenting with this stuff. So there we go, a whole nother uh, line of int or, uh, you know, interest. Let me grab one of these, and let's do another line on here. Oh, we're out of paint. Um, I'm going to go do these real quick, and then I'm going to put these on the board and show them to you. As usual, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're going to call it a night. It looks like not too bad. With the two, I did the transparent medium brown on the bottom. We have that cafe latte from Ceram Coat as the uh, sediment stripe, and it turned out pretty cool. I'm glad I didn't get any lighter with it. It would have looked too freaky. It looks, actually looks a lot better. And also I had some extra um, paint in the, uh, the mixing cup. I went over the board and dusted it and gave it like little dry areas where it's like windswept or might be different elevation. So, you know, we're trying to make this realistic, but still we're dealing with a 40K game board where it's not really to scale and um, I'm trying to make it look cool. So um, I'm gonna call this a part, or not, let's say, I don't know, this is part six or seven, this will be part A of that. I'm gonna come in and do some more detailing. I gotta figure out what I wanna do. It's getting late at night here. And I uh, just wanna put this up on YouTube and share this with the community. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, uh, I like how the details coming about with it, and it does look like a decent representation of Monument Valley. And if you look at those photos, I'll see. I'll put another photo up of that one with the spire type thing uh, right here. So um, I will see you in the next video. As usual, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.